Hello Crafty Family and welcome to another tutorial by She's So Crafty. For today's DIY project, we'll be creating a look for less using Dollar Tree supplies and other supplies that were a dollar or less. Now I have chosen to make a set of these beautiful wood and iron gate style wall decor pieces from Wayfair and I'll be recreating these by adding my own special touches and using items from the Dollar Tree and wood that was less than a dollar. Now for your convenience, I've provided the list of supplies and tools used to make this in the description box below. Now I am super excited to share this tutorial with you, but before we start, I wanted to say hello and welcome back to my amazing subscribers to my channel. Now if you are a new visitor to my channel today and love to create fun and easy DIY projects on a budget, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and also click that notification bell so you will be the first to know when a new DIY tutorial is ready to share with you. So now, let's get ready to jump right into that project. Now here is my inspiration photo from Wayfair. Now I really love the wrought iron pattern paired with the wood in this piece. And also those metal hardware corners also caught my eye. So I thought this would be a great project to make so let's dive right into the supply list. Now you'll need one package of these long bamboo skewers from the Dollar Tree. And we'll also need one fence section from the Dollar Tree. Now the first thing we want to do is to cut apart our fence section. Now we'll be cutting out all of these little swirl pieces individually. Now you can use wire clippers or you can even use a hot knife if you like. But I'm going to use some good old scissors. Now if you have a heavy duty pair with a long blade like I do, then you shouldn't have any problem cutting these fences apart. Now we're going to start by removing those top arches. And then we're going to remove all of the arrow points. And now we're going to separate those iron swirls by carefully cutting them apart. And once we have one section, we're just going to carefully trim off that excess to create a clean and even edge around that swirl. And then we want to repeat this for the seven remaining swirls. And here they all are cut out and ready to go. So now we're going to lay out our grid cutting mat and then we're going to grab those bamboo skewers and some painters tape. Now I'm going to take about four skewers out of the package and I'm going to go ahead and measure them and cut them in half down the center. And these are easy to cut with a wire cutter. And then I want to grab two full length skewers out of the package and I want to set those cut ones to the side. Now we're going to lay out each one of those long skewers horizontally about 11 inches apart and we want to tape them down to our mat. And then we're going to take three of the skewers that we cut in half and we're going to lay them vertically on top of those long skewers about 11 and a half inches apart, making sure that there is at least a two inch overlap of the horizontal skewers. And once everything looks good and is in place, we can go ahead and tape them down with some painter's tape. And now we're going to take our glue gun and we're going to place some glue at each point where the skewers cross. And now we're going to grab our cutout swirls and get them ready to apply. But first we're going to have to mark the centers of each side of the skewers to make sure our placement will be correct. So we're going to measure each side and find the center and mark with a pencil.
And now that they're marked, we can arrange the swirls as shown, making sure that the good side is facing down and that the points where the swirls meet is lining up with those centers we just marked. Now once everything looks good, we're going to apply some hot glue overlapping between each point where the, skewer, where the swirls touch just to make sure it holds its shape. And now we're going to grab four of the cut skewers and we're going to apply them in a crisscross pattern. Now for the first skewers, we want to make sure to glue them on both corners as well as on the swirls where they make contact. And then for the second skewer, we will make sure that the corners are glued as well as the center contact with that first skewer. Now once everything is secured with the glue, I'm going to use these zip ties to permanently secure the swirls to the frame. Now I got the colored ones from Dollar General, but you can get the white and the black ones at the Dollar Tree. Now you simply want to loop that zip tie around each swirl and wrap the skewer and secure it in place. Now for the center, you want to loop the zip tie through both swirls and over the skewer as shown here. And now that everything is secure, you can snip off all of those zip tie tails. And then I'm going to go in and apply a little bit more hot glue on those swirl connections just for good measure. Then you let that dry and you can remove all of the tape. And now this is just about ready to paint. But before we paint, I'm going to use this Dollar Tree hand broom to get off any of those hot glue webs off the piece. And then I'm going to paint two coats of this Krylon flat black spray paint on the front and the back of the piece. Now while that dries, I'm going to cut my 1x2x8 furring strip down to size for my frame. And this was 98 cents from Lowe's. Now the actual thickness is 3 quarter inches by 1 and a half inches. So I cut two pieces at 13 inches and I cut two pieces at 28 inches. Now we're going to lay out those 28 inch pieces and take that 13 inch piece and fit it in between. Now I will be using hot glue to bond these together. You just want to place some glue on each end of that 13 inch piece and you want to nestle it in between the two longer pieces at each end. And then I'm going to take a clamp and I'm going to hold it together while it sets. And then you want to flip it around and repeat this on the other side. Now while this is setting, I'm going to go ahead and staple these together on the back at that seam for extra security. And when it has finally dried, I am going to stain it. So I'm going to protect my work surface and I'm going to grab up my supplies. Now I will be using this classic gray stain by Memwax for this project. And then I'm going to go ahead and grab my frame and I'm going to start applying my stain. I'm going to make sure I cover the inside and outside edges as well. And then we can set these to the side to dry. Now to make the hardware corners, I'm going to be using these scrap pieces of foam board. Now I made this template that is three and a half inches square and the L shape height is one and a half inches. And you can copy this onto a simple sheet of paper. 
Now that you've made your paper template, you can go ahead and trace that shape onto the foam board four times. And now that they're all traced, we can use a ruler and an X-Acto knife to cut out our pieces. And now that they're all cut out, we can take some sandpaper and smooth out all of those edges. Now I'm going to be using these water bottle caps that I have collected to resemble the bolts. You can also use the glass gems from the Dollar Tree. Now these will be laid out three pieces per corner. Now I'm just going to apply some hot glue around the edge of the cap and I want to adhere it to those pieces. And now that they're all dry, we can paint. Now I will be using this black acrylic paint for these. I wanna start by applying the paint around the edges, making sure you get into all of that texture from the foam. And then you can apply that paint to the top and on the cap. And here are all of my corners completed. Now my frame is dry and I can lay it out on my table with the right side down. And here is my iron insert that is now dry and we can place that on top of the frame with the right side down as well. Now we wanna make sure that it's centered with about an inch gap all the way around. Once in place, just take some wire clippers and snip off any excess skewer that is longer than the frame. And then you just take your glue gun and secure that frame into place by applying it to the skewers that touch it. And then we're gonna take our staple gun and we're gonna put a staple on each one of those skewers for added security. Then we just flip our frame over, check it, and now we can add our corners. Now to add the corners, all I'm gonna do is add hot glue to the back of each corner and I wanna press that into place. And here are all of our corners in place. Then to hang this piece, you could just add these optional frame hooks that you can get from the Dollar Tree. And here is the final project all hung up. Oh my goodness, I absolutely love how these turned out. Now I think that this gray stain was perfect for this piece and I really love how it is paired with that black iron look. Now Wayfair's version is $79 and I think we hit the mark just right, costing us only $4 in additional supplies. And check out these bottle caps for hardware. I mean, what do you guys think? I can't wait to display these in my entryway. You guys have to let me know in the comments how you would display these pieces in your home.
Listen, if you love DIYs on a budget, give this video a thumbs up and share this video with your friends. Make sure that you're following She's So Crafty EE on Facebook for the latest new sneak peeks and giveaways. Thank you so much for visiting and checking out my tutorial today. If you like videos like these and you don't want to miss the next one, make sure you're subscribed by clicking that subscribe button below and turning on that notification bell. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you all next time.